Hi guys, this is Karen Run. I'm going to do my second installment of the Story of Light first listen series, and this is Shiny's um, episode two of the Story of Light. I'm very excited. Um, I haven't like really managed to check anything out because obviously I've been waiting to listen to this album. I know they did like the Muki box and other stuff, but I haven't had a chance to check out anything out yet. I want to try and make this a quick first listen because I've kind of said everything that I wanted to say really like in depth in the first um, first listen that I did. Um, and also it's a working day, so your girl got to sleep a little bit early. But anyways, yeah, let's start off with the title track, I Want You. And this um, is written by, well, lyrics are by Jong Juhi from Jam Factory, which is a, a collective of writers, composers. They, they work a lot with um, SM groups. Um, music by Mike Woods, Kevin White, Andrew Bassey, MZMC, or MZMC. Um, Esna, I think she's the lady that um, did our oop with uh, Mama Moo in their earlier... Um, one of the early albums, I think it's their debut album actually, and there's a song I really like, um, so check it out if you haven't, if you haven't already. Um, Tay Jasper and Yu Yong Jin. I've also got the lyrics. The song, I checked the lyrics out before, and it's kind of sad actually. The forgotten memory and broken up pieces of tears, I hope they will all rewind. Oh na na na. Can I just say, Min Ho, this is a song, man. This is a song. Does anyone just automatically think of NCT Dreams and We Young when they listen to the song? Like, I play them both at the same time as I listen to this. I want you. English Kings. In this blue scene, in this world, it's just you and me. Apparently the MV was 3D, or had some 3D elements, but I don't know how true that is. I don't have 3D glasses to check it out, either. The oh na na part is my favorite part. Oh, keep the conversation! I said I want you. The cup full of memories for first tonight. Oh, I love that part. Oh, hit me out here with the Atlas, man, and the high notes. You better hit it, baby. I said I want you. I love this song. I would say I like it as much as Good Evening because Good Evening is my jam, but I really do like it. Like I said, it's just, I feel like it's just like a grown version of <laughs> We Young of NCT, um, from NCT Dream, but just looking at the lyrics, the lyrics are actually kind of sad if you look at them, which, which is a bit hard for me sometimes to like deal with when a song sounds really happy, but when you actually look at the lyrics, it's like kind of has a very melancholic, um, um sentiment to it so you're kind of talking about you know how they want this person who's not kind of there at, the, at, at that specific moment i don't know if, if they're not there forever but they're not there at that specific moment you know they have all these memories and you know they just want to go back to, to to those like happier times which is kind of what i was talking about in terms of like the mv how that they're going they're, they're going into this 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 um sort of like haven this paradise where they're like basically looking for their happiness well, a place that makes them happy but just in general they just sound amazing Mino kills it on the song he absolutely sounds incredible loved him in like high notes towards the end on keys harmonization it was just fantastic i really really like it so shout out to the producers and shout out to shiny again for just being that group but i'll anyway. move on to the part of the album that i haven't listened to um i haven't heard any of the teasers at all so i have no clue what any of these sound like and i'm kind of excited a lot of people have been saying really great things apparently um according to shiny this ep kind of reflects the songs that shiny likes that they feel like it's more shiny like according to them not according to the public and the episode one was more of like what the public views shiny as which is basically what they did with the misconceptions of me and you um so i'm guessing like the third one is going to be like a mixture um of what the public sees uh, what the public views shiny as and what they see themselves as which i guess will be interesting to kind of hear but um yeah i'm very excited so chemistry is written by chi yung kyung and um, rap by min ho and music by andrew Choi, Dees, and yinsu i know andrew Choi and Dees has worked with shiny and Taemin before and uh, you know nct and all that um but i don't know who yinsu is actually so um yeah i'm very excited okay let's turn it all the way up 
Okay. Okay. Okay, take me! Nerd, nerd, nerd. No, 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 Okay. I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. But we're already going on like, this is not even tropical. This is like borderline dancehall. This is basically like, we've, we're shifting from tropical to actual dancehall. Okay. And I'm not, I'm, I don't know if I'm ready. So I've got my scarf because I know if this is going to go where I'm thinking it's going to go, I'm going to need my scarf. But anyways, let's just go back. Okay. Okay. You touch your skin. Feel more real. Okay, oh you. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Are you hearing these comments? What? Stop it. No, stop it, no, no. Do you hear how together they sound? Do you hear this chorus? Are you hearing what I'm hearing? Like, the what? No, let's go back a little bit. Let's go back a little bit because I wasn't ready. I really wasn't ready. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's like... It's like four sides, what? First one. No, this is the song, this is the song. No. No, no, no. Hey. Only can you. Only. Not only. Key is doing too much. Shiny was gonna do dance hall, yeah. I had two different thoughts. Okay, me and my, my mutuals were discussing this. We were like, this can go either two ways. Do you know what I mean? Like, this could be really good, or this could be one of those like shiny tracks that I don't really listen to, which is like, which is not very much, to be honest. It's like one one of them is like shout and get down. Is it get down? Yeah, I think it's get down. So like I don't those are the two tracks I don't really listen to, but I wasn't sure. But you know what? I should have known that if we gave Shiny Dance Hall, they will not only just do it justice, they will come out the gate with it. And they did just that. They did, oh my goodness, that sounded amazing. First of all, let's talk about Key again. Let's talk about Kim Ki Bomb again. Because listen, because I don't think you guys are fully appreciating the greatness, the amazing, uh, uh, amazing, talented, like, artist that Kim Bomb is. Like, not just in terms of fashion and art in itself, like he, he draws and stuff like that and paints and stuff like that. But out of the five vocalists that are in Shiny, because you know, we got five vocalists in this group. Um, he is probably the second one that plays a lot with his voice. You could throw it whatever style at John Kenny, he'll find a way to make it his own and he was always playing with his voice. But Key, I think is probably um, the most experimental and most agile. Um, outside of Jong Hyun and he wow he really is showing us everything he's made of in this album like I have so much pride for Kibo I'm like I have so much pride for him as my official first bias in shiny um like he just he's an amazing man and I I wish that people would give him as much recognition for his actual performing abilities and singing abilities as they do his fashion sense and you know his variety sense and all that stuff but 
Oh, he killed it. First of all, Minho, that rap section. What? I was feeling that. He sounded amazing. Taemin? Wow, Timmy was killing it. Timmy was killing it, and especially with like the the heart, the especially during the chorus where everyone kind of took the chorus and was like, you know, just giving me all these beautiful high notes. But the harmonies, oh my goodness, Onu with the the little like what is it runs that he was doing, little adits. I what have we done to deserve shiny honestly what have we done to deserve shiny but anyways this was a bop this was a certified bop and i definitely definitely prefer this to i want you okay so the next song is electric and the lyrics are written by huang yubin and music by gara pk deke ding zese oh my goodness i'm so sorry for butchering that i know that's not how you pronounce it i'm really really sorry um the also written by matt wong um jb jones and arrangement by Jimmy Jones and Mac, um, Matt Wong, sorry. But yeah, I'm very excited. Like, oh, I'm still like on a high from chemistry. That was my jab. Ooh. We really going electronic, you know. Ooh, okay, Mino and Tamin. Okay, calm down. I don't have lyrics to this though. I like the little pauses. Okay, are you? Where's this going? Wait. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait, I was not expecting that. Like, can we just like appreciate this like really cool beat that we've got going on? Like it's kind of giving me like like okay, it's not the same vibe as you need me, but just the experimentation of it. It's kinda like what's like syncopated, like almost like the way it's kind of like distorted i really like that but can we just go back a little bit so i can appreciate that that beat drop because i wasn't ready oh i like the what what sound as well stop it no no, this is so Stop it. Stop it. You see the shoulders already go, guys. The shoulders. Okay. Okay, speak to me, Minho. This beat. No. Don't do your voice like that, Jinky. You're killing I can't. Oh, Tammy sounds good on this track. Again, Onu is out here. He's be really out here. This sounds so good. You're so special, Kimo. Oh, this R and B. Yes. Jam, yeah, like I'm here for it. Are you hearing this chorus of them singing together? You better. Okay. <laughs> Electric. What? 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 You better give me ad libs, fam. Hey. 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 No, 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 I wasn't ready. I really wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I was not ready at all. Like, who... How does Shiny actually manage to do stuff like this? Like, I don't understand. Like, who do they think they are to be just coming for me like this? Like, how dare they have such an amazing discography? Like, how dare... Like, how dare you just be so experimental, be so, like... Like, basic avant-garde, like, they're so, like... We're... we're this is Shiny's world. This is basically Shiny's world and we're just living in it. Because at this point, I, I, I can't wrap my head around this. And I've always said this before, but Shiny's like team of producers, like the people they work with, listen, like, they, they honestly have some of the best writers. Do you hear this beat? Do you hear this beat? Who, who wrote this song again? Can we just give them another shout out? Because they, they did that. Um, Gara Pique. 
Matt Wong and Jamie Jones. Y'all can And then uh, Huang Yubin for writing the lyrics. Thank you again, because no, that, that beat was sick. That's my favorite song. Okay, chemistry has been demoted. <laughs> Because that beat alone was incredible. Like it had like like I don't know. It, I don't know if syncopation is like the wor best way to describe it. But you know when it's kind of like the beat kind of cut like cuts up and it was just like a pulsating bass line and there was like the the womp womp. Like it was amazing. And then the electric doom 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 like electric. And then you have these beautiful like harmonies. And when they sing as a chorus, like when they all sing together incredible obviously usually have like only like sort of like on the top line um so his voice is more prominent well his voice is more prominent just in general but like you have that part and then taming or oh, taming really like kills it in the song because his voice he, he goes back into that so sultry like r&b sexy voice that he usually does and he, he, he's just sounded amazing on this track minho what when he got into his rap section i kind of wish it was a little bit longer because it was sounded so good and it got cut but he just sounded amazing and I could also hear him doing like the low notes as well during the harmonies and it's just, wow like what I, I love that song that's probably one of my favorite productions they've done as well so the next song is Drive I think only actually mentioned this as one of his favorite songs the lyrics are by Good Day Woo um, the music by Ganen Arnold and Andy De Los Santos and the arrangement by Ganen Arnold <laughs> oh I like that it's like a guitar Ooh, definitely sounds like a great song for a road trip already i'm attracted to you oh, it so stop it the synthesized beat We have to pause again because as soon as they started singing in, in, in harmony again, that reminded me of Lipstick. Do you guys remember Lipstick from the One of One album, that incredible piece of art that they gave us in 2016? I remember in Lipstick the way they go, na 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 and they all go, Adam Dawa, and it was like this beautiful harmony. That's what it gave me here, and I, sorry, I wasn't ready. I just wasn't ready. It's got this like. Stop it. The 80s synthesizers. Stop it. Ah, oh, four sets Oh, yes. Give me torture vocals. Oh, you know it sounds amazing. Amen. How dare you sound so... What? He went... Do you see how deep he went? Oh! Only you now. Did you hear that? How are you gonna end on that? this group i can't deal with this group i can't actually deal with this group listen and what did we do to deserve shiny to give us such great music like what did you hear that song if you guys have followed me for a while you should know there are certain like styles of music that i really really like obviously r&b um you know r&b is like the top for me so anything r&b i'm already here for it but i also really really love like 80s pop like especially with like the 80s synthesizers like anything that kind of like is like a homage to that time or like the early like early 90s as well i love that and this was like that like it just made me feel so amazing i feel like this would be actually a great um sister track to jump like jump obviously has like that, that 80s disco type groove and then obviously you add this well the 70s is more disco but you guys go know what i mean it has more of like an 80s 80s sound um and then you add this which is like more of like the late 80s with the like the heavy synthesizers like i feel like it would just be a really great you know track to follow up and it just sounds really great now it does sound like a song you love to hear on like a great road trip like it, i don't know it kind of feels like this one will be the song that plays like I, I you know in one of those like 80s cult like teen movies 
where like something great happens and then you play the song or like you, you play this like towards the credits when like everything is resolved and you know everyone's happy and all that stuff i don't know i just felt amazing and the harmonies again like the part where they all sing together i'm telling you when shiny just sing together it's magical it really is and um I, you remember my friend was talking about this like even though like yes we're missing like you know our bass our, you know our our, our 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 king our main vocalist and stuff like when they sing together even though it's four of them here it always for me when they sing together like I, I get that OT5 feeling, it just gives you how great that, that bond that they've built up and that, like how skilled and how much they've put so much effort into learning each other's strengths and how they all just come together to give this unique sound that's just them and it's just, oh, I don't know, I'm just, I just love this group so much. Even though I have like my, my preferences in terms of like the members' voices, I mean I like all of them, their voices and I like certain parts of their voices but when they come together for me it's like the most magical part, it's just incredible and oh this song was everything. And now we've reached the final um, track on the album and the last song is Who Waits For Love or and this was written by Soji Um and Deep Flow um, lyrics wise and the music was um, done by Shin Hyuk, Ross Lara, Ross Lara, um, Dave Cook, JJ Evans, and Kev Jeff Lewis. Okay, these lyrics though. I want to dance with these lyrics though. It's my problem that I love you. Okay, rapper key. Oh, what? I love Key's rapping voice. Okay, Minho. But these lyrics though. Oh, oh, beautiful toe. Is that key doing the, the I can see, I can feel you? Okay. Oh, for satires again. Excuse me. No. I like the drum beat as well. Where's it going? Get that high note key. Oh my god, these lyrics are just. What's that key again? Oh my god. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh. oh, that gave me chills. That was so beautiful. And actually, as I was listening to that song, as I was listening to that song, why does this sound like a mashup of John Kyung's Take a Dive and Just for One Day? literally like if you mix those two productions i feel like this is the birth child of the, those two songs and like when it hit me plus the lyrics i was like i didn't you know i want to dance but it's kind of like one of them ones where you're like realizing how like like heartbreaking the lyrics are and you're just like okay like insert the jam in sadly give um here but ah, that was such a beautiful track oh now i'm really confused as to what my favorite is because that was such a beautiful track but all i know is listen all i know is that the other four tracks for me are better than the title track for me personally are better than the title track like i feel like any of these songs could have been title track we've already had 10 tracks from from this this soon to be 15 track album and there's been no filler tracks there's been nothing that feels out of place to be honest you're not one of those groups that tend to have like filler tracks just in general and but but they, literally all 10 songs sound like they could be title tracks like every single track 
it's just that's the type of quality that I, you know I, I love in a group that they just give you bangers upon bangers upon bangers upon bangers like you're just like you know to the point where you get to the end you're like confused as to what your favorite is but wow i actually think this is my favorite out of the two eps and i really like episode one but episode two is my kind of style it really is my kind of style even though like episode one is basically my style too but this is like more like me <sighs> Favorite? What is a favorite? Okay, all I know is that my favorite is I think. Who was it? Was he electric? I think it was electric. And then, who was? Oh Jesus Christ! I don't even know. Then I think Drive. Who waits for love? Chemistry. And then I want you. But even so, I feel like it could mix and match. I feel like this is not really a stable list because it, it just depends how I feel but generally I think electric just like based on how just based on the production alone is my favorite and um, so that will always stay at the top but then definitely chemistry drive who is for love honestly could switch places at any point and I want you I want you still great but for me the other four tracks are just more my style but again shiny did it yet again this group has proven time and time again why i love them why i always continue to support them why i always you know consider them as the quintessential k-pop group like they literally have all the elements of what i love about k-pop always proved to me that i always made the right decision just choosing them as my ultimate bias group well not even choosing them too i felt like i didn't even choose them because i feel like they chose me like i felt like you know it was you know i've just been so blessed to just get to know shiny and to listen to their music and i've also been introduced to a lot of things just been a, a, a shower and I'll, I've never regretted the day since I joined this fandom I've never regretted anything about it so um, I just you know wish them the best with this like you know promotion series I hope that they keep making the music they want to do you know it's been so nice to see them smile and so nice to um, just see them just being the in, in, in incredible um, strong individuals that they are and I just hope to you know see them for a very long time doing what they love and performing on stage and just being shiny yeah let me know what you guys think i definitely think I've, this is my favorite ep let me know what your favorite um, um ep is out of the two so far let me know what your favorites are as well in the comments below um and also don't forget to stream and um, poet and artist give junkie on some love as well you know ot5 in this house all day every day always and forever um make sure to you know to stream that as well if you can and buy the album if you can as well and buy this album if you can i've already ordered my i can't wait for it to arrive actually i forgot i got <laughs> i've got the first one <laughs> i've got the first one i forgot you know um but yeah it's it's really cute it's it's huge it's like it's i didn't realize how thick it was but it is kind of huge and i'll show you the photo card that i got look look at these cuties look at that I, I can't be bothered to like you know zoom in and zoom out because it will mess it everything up. But look at them! Look at look at. You've got Ante, you've got Key over there, Mino over there. It's just it's so cute. I'm loving all these like you know family photos. I'm loving that. And I think the next one we actually get like two photo cards. We get like a member one and a group one again. So that's great. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Let me know, guys. Think and yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.